Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent and I am super excited to talk about VeChain today. What is happening? What is going on? Which country has vowed its devotion to, to VeChain and what is it all going to mean? And it's been a while, you know, obviously like we've... Um, it, there's so much going on at the moment in the marketplace with you know what is happening with Bitcoin and Salvador and all these things and um, but VeChain you know like out of all the companies out there it is a five star blockchain and if the first time that you're looking into VeChain two things jump on the website VeChain.org and the other one is jump on the on the white paper and really dive into what this is how it's going there's some major news updates coming towards the later in the month as well which I will be bringing to you but for now let's look at what we've got. What has happened, right? So, at the moment, we, we, we sit in this particular window and we need to hold, you know, like if we hold at the moment of where we're at, at the moment, at the, at the current mark that we're in right now, there will be a huge support, massive support for the bull run of VeChain to continue, which we will. And I know it's not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, but I think, you know, what is expected to arrive, and this is, you know, Ethereum versus um, VeChain right now, I think the, the bull run that we're going to be having with VeChain is going to be astronomical. It's going to be a phenomenal run that we're going to be receiving. And that's because I've done my homework. So the reason why I'm so passionate, I'm speaking to you about it in this manner, is because I am so aware of where we're at, what is happening, and where it's going. And, I mean, crypto news articles talk about VeChain being one of the best bets in the market. I mean, that, that says something, right? So when you got analysts, experts looking at things, you know, calling it China's favorite cryptocurrency and everything that is going on at the moment, and we'll get into this, right? So the VeChain Foundation recently confirmed a meeting with Chinese official, government officials from Shanghai speaking about it, and it's just awesome. It just works. It does exactly what it's meant to do, um, and I think it's, it, it's phenomenal. Um, you know, it's it's a great coin because of the choice of great fundamentals. Um, and overall, like, you know, when, when we look at what should you hold long term, it, it's all about the fundamentals. It's all about where we're going and why we're going there. And it has to be based on fundamentals. It cannot be fluff. That's why we don't talk about memes on the channel. That's why we don't talk about anything that doesn't have any substance. Because without substance, what do we got? We just got wishful thinking. And so FX Street have set a VeChain price target 65 cents if the support level holds. So breaking below 9 cents could be catastrophic catastrophic for the VeChain bulls. But if this support level holds, then this cryptocurrency could rise to 65 cents. And it talks about where it's at right now, what is happening, and where are we going next from a VeChain price point of view. So very, very exciting to see FX Street talk about a 65 cents VeChain because that and a whole lot more, I believe, is around the corner. Now, we got, we're talking about, you know, news articles. A lot of news has come out. You know, this was from a couple of days ago, but, you know, this particular news article said China-backed Ethereum killer cryptocurrency VeChain sees price surge nearly 2,000%. It's talking about, you know, obviously since the beginning of time of VeChain and how much VeChain has grown from its infancy. But in the article, it does talk about why this support from China is going to be so crucial and so important to the rise of VeChain and to the mo monstrous momentum that will kick in from there. So super, super exciting. And also what it stands for, you know, so saving the planet with VeChain, you know, Carbon Credits, co-founder and CEO uh, Sunny Lu talks about how using the VeChain blockchain will help from an environmental point of view and traceability of actual good work being done to save the environment. So that's going to be really, really exciting from that. You know, we got VeChain for President uh, saying, you know, I'm so glad I held my VeChain. I added more China backing it as a blockchain. News on television coverage over in China. And here comes 2.0. You know, like 2.0 is around the corner, the major update that is coming out. And, and you know, the PO to 2.0 related alpha block technical paper, you know, it's, it's not too far away. And so... It's so exciting. It is really, 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 really exciting what is about to happen, what is unfolding right before our eyes. So blockchain is here to stay as China is outlaying plans for accelerating the promotion of blockchain technology, 
smart contract platforms and business value blockchain is focused as they move forward over their next five, 10 year plan. And my bet is on VeChain as is Booster Yoda and why VeChain is set to be one of those major dominant players 2021, 2022, 23, 24, and 25. You know, it's going to be a great asset to, to hold. Let's jump into Atani. Let's see what that's telling us today. Okay, so we're inside Atani at the moment for the VeChain on the daily. And let's have a look at all the indicators of what, what they're telling us and what we can potentially see happen. You know, so we've obviously currently at 11 cents at the time I'm making this. RSI is sitting towards the sold, you know, towards the oversold. MACD sitting on a bullish trend at the moment at the time I'm making this. On the hourly, what can we expect? So on the hourly, we are seeing a bullish a bullish trend with an RSI of sitting at around at you know rough halfway, and you know we did go even all the way to about 11, 11 cents five zero. So that that was pretty interesting over there. And what's happening? You know where, where we're at. You know on the four hourly, we can see that the um, the the Bollinger Band. You know we're we're sitting quite low, and on the four hour, we're still not out of the waters yet. You know it is still a signal of bear bearish but on the 12 hour has crossed over into a belly a bearish signal and on the daily right now it is still sitting on a bullish signal so we've got a couple of scenarios playing on playing at the moment you know could, we could potentially flip the four and the 12 hour and continue to run on a, on a bullish segment or we may drop and once again probably drop maybe even touch Eight nine, so eight cents nine eight eight, you know, for a little bit and then come back in, but probably not. You know, we'll, if we're going to go down, we'll probably go down to the nine eight again and then bounce off and and continue on. Let's have a look at some drawings of what they're telling us. So right now, where we're at at the moment, you know, we do have a couple of scenarios that we do have to you know take into consideration, and you know, one of those is that right now we could touch. Perhaps, you know, depending on how Bitcoin goes, you know, like you could see potentially a seven or eight cents being touched temporarily, but and then bounce off and then continue. I don't think we're going to get that. I think we'll probably touch like just under 10 cents and then continue to rise, move towards 12, push or maybe even 13, come back to 10 and then go off into the 20s and beyond, which we've been waiting what feels like forever. So... Plenty to go, lots and lots of room to go, you know, head towards the 20, um, 23 cents, you know, towards the um, back end of, you know, towards next week, right? So we could expect to be back in the 23 cents next week. As we push forward, though, you know, I can see 33, 34 cents being hit uh, within the next 14 days, which I know right now at the price of where I'm like, whoa, really? But this has been a long time in the making, you know, like this compression phase is... is you know, it's been around for a while. A great entry point would be eight. I just, I'm not quite confident that you could get an eight cents of entry. And I don't want you to put something in at that price and then you don't get it. Again, it's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I just want to call it how it is. I just don't, I don't see us going there. I do see us going 24 and beyond. 24 cents plays a major, major role a major, major role when it comes to uh, resistance. But the buying zone is this 10 cents. The stop loss would be at 5 cents, right? If you had to put in a stop loss right now. But the buying zone is here. It's in this window of 9, 8, 10 cents, even just, you know, even maybe touching at 9 cents flat. This is the buying zone. This is where this is where things are going to get really, really heated up, and we're going to start to move and bounce. And, and we might trade sideways for a little bit, but before you know it, we've got the sixty cents coming. Come back to like a four uh, forty cents retrace, and then push forward to the one dollar, which I know this American summer, which is the Australian winter, ladies and gentlemen in Australia that follow this account, winter is coming, but not Game of Thrones style winter. I'm talking about a monster old coin winter for Australia, Amer for the American summer. I don't even know which one you would, where would you want a monstrous channel, a monstrous old coin season? Would you want it in the summer period or the winter period? I don't know. I'm just excited that we're gonna get there. If you did learn something new today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you all so very much for the love and passion that you show the channel. And I want to know your thoughts and your feedback. You know, where are you coming in? How long have you been in VeChain? Where do you think we're going? Where, you know, like at what point, you know, do you think that we're going to kick, kick, kickstart again? The bull run for VeChain. How much do you think China is going to have a play in it? 
And overall, I just want to know what you guys think. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.